pattern, drip patterns are caused by blood which falls straight down under gravity alone with no lateral movement of the source. So in the Idaho 4 case, the location, which was in the bedroom floor near and around the bed area, that's where you have blood that has fallen vertically from a stationary or briefly moving source. Example, um, it could be wounds or a bloodied object held above the floor, you know, like a knife, weapon, what have you. So this suggests that blood was actively dripping while the source was not moving rapidly. Now, drip flow patterns, which are, um, example, for example, along in the Idaho 4 case, the location was along the floor surface where blood encountered slight slopes or transitions. Now that cause can be gravity acting on pulled or dripped blood. Now it indicates that time lapsed after deposition, allowing blood to move naturally. So it forms blood, it accumulates at a wound or object or surface, and gravity pulls the drop downward. So the drop strikes the surface directly below the source. Now the key characteristics typically, because a lot of people ask me, what is, what is the difference? They work, the reason why they word it specific is because they, there's a specific reason. So whenever they word drip, and then it will say flow pattern. So the reason begin is because of this very reason is because there is a big difference in the two. So remember that um, when you're dealing with drip patterns, it's caused by blood falling straight down under gravity alone. There's no movement of the source. Whereas when you're dealing with drip flow patterns, it's a little bit different and it's going to be, uh, it's going to move naturally. So typically one of your key characteristics is going to be um, with a drip pattern, you're going to have your primary source is going to be gravity only. Whereas with drip flow pattern, you're going to have gravity plus surface and angle, surface angle. Now the shape is going to be round if you have drip pattern, whereas drip flow pattern, you're going to have elongated directionality. Um, movement is going to indicate drip pattern, there's no movement. With drip flow pattern, there is movement. There's blood movement. Now, also drip pattern is instantaneous, whereas a drip flow pattern is ongoing bleeding. And the interpretation is drip pattern has static movement, whereas drip flow pattern has continued bleeding on the body position. So that is the difference between those two. Now, a lot of these... A lot of the wording in the Idaho 4 case, as you can see in the wording with the blood patterns, there's going to be very specific words. So you have to pay attention to those words because they have totally different meanings. And it's going to tell you the different types of blood and it has different meanings. So drip pattern is, is not going to be as movement in, indicated, whereas if it states drip and then it's going to have a, the little uh, closed in flow pattern, it's going to move, mean that there was movement during that time period. So that's going to tell you something totally different. Those are two different patterns.